Praise the Lord, Chapleton. God bless you. Man, I tell you, it's 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 always a joy to be with you and to share God's wonderful word with you. And I'm just so blessed to share with you uh, for this devotion this morning. I want to continue where I left off at where I was talking about the love of the Father and dealing with the spirit of an orphan. Uh, are you a son, a slave, or an orphan? And and how that the spirit of an orphan, how it affects you and I from really uh, walking into uh, our sonship reality, uh, walking uh, with confidence, with assurance from within of who God is to us and who we are to him. Uh, and, and notice this prayer that Paul prays in Ephesians chapter 3. He says that he would grant you, that is God, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. He said that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. You see that? Now, now here it is. Here it is. And that you being rooted and grounded in love. Now, you know that when a seed is planted, it is the representation of the potential that would come forth. And so there has to be a nourishing of the seed. There has to be a cultivating of it. And in the process, that seed begins to develop roots. The seed opens up, and as it develops roots, it begins to anchor, watch me now, it begins to anchor what is to come forth out of the seed. It begins to anchor it to the soil. And, and you know, when I studied this, roots go down into the soil, and it will intertwine with other roots. It will intertwine with things under the soil in order to anchor what is to come forth. This is exactly what Paul is saying. He said, he said that you may be rooted, watch this now, and grounded. So, so the, the apostle don't only wants us to, to get roots down in God. And roots meaning that we are intertwined, we are we go deep into the revelation of the person of who God is. Because first John four and eight says God is love. So if God is love, when he says here that I might be rooted and grounded in love, he's he he's he's telling me then that I need to I need to uh, uh, go deep into the revelation, into the knowledge that I need to dig deep into the person of who God is. That understanding and revelation must flow into my heart of the very person of God. And it's not just understanding and revelation, but that is mixed also with my experience with him that solidifies it. Are you following me? Because I'm not just I'm not just uh, uh, re knowing of an individual, a person that I am not acquainted with, or I don't have any fellowship with, because that would not be true knowledge. You see, uh, I can know of a person, but true knowledge is when is when I not only know of them, but I experience it. Okay, and so he says that I may be rooted and what and grounded, anchored. Look at this. This short circuits the spirit of an orphan. You see this? This short circuits the spirit of an orphan. The spirit of an orphan cannot function in this kind of environment. Paul said here that, that uh, you might be rooted and grounded in love. Why? Because remember we said last week, the orphan spirit comes or functions out of insecurity, out of uh, uh, jealousy. Are you, are you following me? The, the feelings of anxiety, isolation, hopelessness is, 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 the, is the breeding ground for this spirit of an orphan. And so the way God interacts or counteracts that, notice this, he said that you might be rooted and grounded in love. You see, how, well, how am I going to be rooted? Think about this. How do I get rooted? How do I get grounded in love? You see, how, how does a tree get rooted and grounded? Well, those roots have to go down. So how do, how do I get rooted? I've got to come into an intimate knowledge 
revelation and understanding of the person of God, which through Jesus, he has made that available to us. I'm telling you something, man. This right here is the this is the recipe for for low self esteem. It is the recipe when a person has has no self worth. It is the recipe for every single thing in our lives that we might be rooted and grounded in the love of God. Are you with me? I said, Are you with me? He said, Watch what he say here. He said, he said, if you're really grounded in love, you may be able, <clears throat> watch this now, to comprehend with all saints. You will be able to apprehend this truth. You will be able to apprehend with all saints. What is the breadth and length and depth and height of what? Of the love of God. Of the love of God. Because that's where my security is going to come from. That's how my provision comes. You see, you and I would be just like Jesus. It didn't matter what uh, a situation Jesus was in. It didn't matter what was going on. Matter of fact, Jesus, I, he, has a, I, he has a quote in the scriptures that I really love it. I, 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 I say it all the time. Jesus said, though the whole world should leave me. I want you to hear this. He said, though the whole world should leave me, he said, yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. Could you imagine what kind of a security is this? That they all got up and left them. Peter, Peter said, Peter, uh, Jesus, are you all going to leave also? Peter said, Lord, who are we going to go to? You have. The words of life. You are my security. You see? You are my everything, Lord. Why? Where am I going to go? Jesus said, if the whole world should leave me, he said, I'm not alone. Why? Because the Father is with me. I'm not going to suffer with feelings of anxiety and fear and isolation and hopelessness. Because, watch this now, that I have a conscious awareness of the ever presence of our God. I have the conscious awareness of my father, but not just that. I know he loves me. The relationship that him and I have, the relationship that we have is so profound. Jesus said, I don't need anything from the outside to stimulate me, to make me feel wanted. I know I'm wanted. I know I'm loved. I know I am secure. I know he cares about me. What picture of such assurance in Christ? See, the Bible says here that, that, that you may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, length, and depth, and the height. <laughs> well, you know something. God is eternal, right? Bible said there's no searching of his understanding. His ways are past finding out Isaiah 40. There's no, there's no end to God. And so my friend, God wants us to get, to, to get so rooted in his love that, that we come into intimate experience and knowledge of the love of God of who he is. Now that right there is going to cause the cancer. Listen to me. The cancer of the spirit uh, of slavery, the cancer of the spirit of an orphan to begin to melt away from our hearts and minds. Because my friend, as you and I experience it, there is a confidence. There is a, there's a sense of security. There's a strength that develops on the inside of you. Are you hearing me? This, this begins to develop on the inside of you. You begin to feel comfortable in God's presence. Now, I know, I know sometimes people say out there, well, man, you know about the love of God and you think you can do anything. I don't know what Bible they're reading, but, but understanding the love of God and understanding who God is and what he is to you, I cannot find in scripture where that helps you 
to, to, to sin. If anything is going to do, it's going to make you not want to sin. That's what it'll do for you. Are you following me? I need you to hear me now. All right, I need you to hear me. Listen to what he said. He said, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height. Amen. We'll continue this on next week. All right. I love you so much in the Lord. God bless you. Remember, the power of the seed is not in its size, but in its contents. Take care. Bye-bye.